First of all, lad, we've got to get all these medieval ideas out of your head. Clear the way for new ideas. Knowledge of man's fabulous discoveries in the centuries ahead. Now, that'll be a great advantage, boy. Advantage, indeed. <laughs> if the boy goes about saying the world is round, they'll take him for a lunatic. What's this? Baseball? Bowling ball? Bowling ball? Bowling ball. Cinderella's ball? <laughs> Okay, Brother Flintstone, we need a strike to win. Can you do it? Hey, is the earth flat? Sure. Oh, man. You know, I know that the world's supposed to be around, but... I'm not so sure about this part. And you people have to tear him down so you can sleep better tonight? So you can prove that the world is flat and sleep better tonight? Am I right? Yes, Thomas. Why don't we fall off when we walk underneath, monsieur? Because of a force called gravity. What does gravity look like? Gravity is something we can't see. But we know it's a great invisible force that keeps us all here on Earth. Some of you know what a magnet is, don't you? I yes, do. I do. Well, then let's think of it like that. Gravity could be called a kind of magnet. It's a natural force that keeps us all from flying off into space. We were always told that the world is flat. You were told right. Don't listen to her. I've been patient with you, Sarah. Lord knows I've been patient. But now your words have revealed you. The law of gravity was discovered by Sir Isaac Newton in 1687. That's almost 200 years ago, Uncle Evan. But there is only one law. The law of God. If our divine maker had meant for us to walk upside down, he would have put feet on our hands. <laughs> Children, listen to me. Look around you. All around you. As far as the eye can see, the earth is flat. <laughs> 